We've talked about investment funds a few times so far. The two major types of investment funds, mutual funds and exchange-traded funds, both invest money on behalf of investors who buy units of mutual funds or shares of ETFs. These funds can buy a variety of investments such as stocks and bonds, but they can also buy into other investment funds. Here's a simple example to show how this would work. Let's look at the BMO Growth ETF. We know from the name it's an ETF. Its mandate is growth, so it's going to be a fairly aggressive fund. And in fact, when we look at the overall allocation, it's roughly 80% equity and 20% fixed income. If we look in detail at the geographic allocation, we see it has exposure to countries all over the world. It's very well diversified. And in this last section, which lists the top holdings, we can see that in turn, it holds other ETFs. It does this because these underlying ETFs already exist and allow investors to get targeted exposure to these various mandates. But this overall ETF, the BMO Growth ETF, is a type of portfolio fund. Another name you might hear is a fund of funds. What this particular portfolio fund does is it provides a complete portfolio solution for someone looking for exposure to investments all around the world with an overall asset allocation of 80% stocks and 20% bonds. It's fairly aggressive, but is tempered with some fixed income. This one fund of funds also rebalances on a regular schedule so the investor doesn't have to do it themselves. It's quite possible for an investor to only hold units in a portfolio fund in their account and have a complete portfolio. They would just need to add money on a regular basis to grow their investments over time. These portfolio funds are designed to save time and hassle for investors who don't want to spend a lot of time monitoring and reviewing their investments on an ongoing basis, or who don't want to spend time keeping up with all the business news to see if they need to make changes to their investments. Portfolio funds are designed to be set and forget investing. A mutual fund portfolio fund can hold other mutual funds or other ETFs. An ETF portfolio fund usually only holds other ETFs. The main differences between portfolio mutual funds and portfolio ETFs have to do with how they are bought and sold. A mutual fund structure might be beneficial for those looking to make regular contributions on an ongoing basis, as you wouldn't have to pay a trading commission to buy them in most cases. An ETF portfolio might be better for the lower MERs they generally offer if you have a large lump sum to invest up front.